Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Following the prolonged voting process that lasted for the entire Thursday night, Congress candidate advocate Abhijit Vanjari registered an emphatic win in the Nagpur budget constituency elections. Vanjari, the MVA candidate, has secured a total of 61,701 votes to beat his close rival from Bharatiya Janata Party, Sandeep Joshi, who got 42,991 votes. After registering the win by 18,710 votes, Vanjari, along with his family, visited Ganesh Tekri Mandir to take blessings from their deity on Friday morning. The counting for Nagpur graduates' constituency polls commenced at 8 a.m. on Thursday, December 3. Polling for the MLC elections was held on Thursday, December 1st. The counting was done by a team under the leadership of Dr. Sanji Kumar, Divisional Commissioner and Election Officer. The counting had been held at Mankapur Sports Complex. The voting percentage of Nagpur Division graduates' constituency election was 64.38. Following extensive investigation, police has ruled out murder angle in the mysterious death of renowned social worker Baba Amte's granddaughter, Dr. Sheetal Amte. Dr. Sheetal Amte Karzegi, 39, who was CEO of Maharogi Seva Samiti at Anandwan, founded by Baba Amte, had died on Monday morning under suspicious circumstances at her residence. It is widely speculated that Dr. Sheetal had committed suicide by injecting herself with little dose of some medicines. The investigators are, however, not ready to reveal the details of the post-mortem report considering the high-profile nature of the case. Police continue to look for a possible suicide note in Dr. Sheetal's death case even as experts in Nagpur failed to crack password of her laptop, mobile tab and cell phones. The devices are being analyzed. Police believe there could be a suicide note in one of her gadgets. In a major move aimed at refunding money to the aggrieved duped investors, the properties of fraudsters involved in the over Rs 100 crores multi-level marketing metro region and cryptocurrency scam would be auctioned. The Deputy Commissioner of Police of Zone 1, DCP, Nurul Hassan, has prepared a proposal to that effect and the same will be put up before the district collector soon, according to a media report. The police personnel have already recovered properties, including substantial amount of cash worth around Rs 2.25 crore after arresting 12 persons in this case. Recently, mastermind of the scam Vijay Gurnule, Devendra Gajbe and Tanmay Jada were sent to jail by magistrate's court. Two more accused persons, Sunil alias Sunu Srikhande and his girlfriend Shweta Dongre are still in the custody of police. They would be produced before the court on December 7. An armed gang probably planning to Kathy at a Reliance petrol pump in the Kalamna area was boosted by cops in the dead of Friday night. While cops managed to nab two members of the gang, three others succeeded in escaping and were being searched. Kalamna Police Constable Rameshwar Kohli received secret information that a gang of five to six persons had assembled at a dark spot in front of Reliance petrol pump on Old Country Road around 1.30 hours of Friday. Acting swiftly, Kohle and his team rushed to the spot and surrounded the gang, which also included a juvenile boy aged about 16 years. When confronted, the gang members dogged the cops. However, cops managed to catch two members. The detained accused have been identified as Praful Gulabrav Gohate, resident of plot number 552, Bharat Nagar Gopal Diary, and Dhananjay Laluram Markhande. Following the emphatic win in the Nagpur Division graduate constituency election for the Legislative Council, Congress candidate advocate Abhijit Vanjari, along with his family, visited Ganesh Tekni Mandir to take blessings from Ganesh deity on Friday. Vanjari, the Mahavikas Agadi candidate, has reportedly won the elections by a huge margin of votes. Vanjari has secured 55,947 votes, while his nearest rival, Sandeep Joshi of Bhat Jinta Party, got much lesser. Nagpur Division Graduate Constituency seat, which used to be a stronghold of the BJP represented by stalwarts like Gangadhar of Pandit Pandit Bacharaj Vaz, Nitin Gadkari, who were elevated to various levels in the state and the national level leadership, was captured by Indian National Congress and Mahavikas Akadi candidate advocate Abhijit Vanjari by defeating Nagpur Mayor Sandeep Joshi by a thumping and relatively large margin of 18,910 votes. Big things come in small packages. This holds true in the case of the ultralight plane designed 
and flown successfully by an Aquarius. This plane, surprisingly, weighs only 1 gram. According to a media report, Rajesh Joshi, an expert aeromodeling instructor from Nagpur, has claimed to have created the ultralight indoor plane. It is perhaps the smallest aircraft in India, Joshi claimed. The wings of this plane measures 21 cm while its body is 29 cm, he said. For record, Joshi had earlier made aeroplanes weighing 1.5 gram and 3 gram. It took me one week to create the 1 gram plane made up of balsa woods. The specialty of this 1 gram indoor plane is that it is loaded with rubber and hurled in the air. Joshi further said that three kind of material were used in making the ultralight planes. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.